Howdy. This week's lesson is one of the most important ones that the most people also do not take seriously, which is really unfortunate <laughs> because this is another way that we sabotage our growth and our healing. I'm going to tell you what most people are going to do with this. Most people will receive this information and discount it entirely or go, yeah, 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 okay, 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 uh, but then not actually follow through with it. And in fact, we're going to keep this week's lesson relatively short because I want you out actually practicing this, not just learning about it. So those people that go, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, I get it, important, whatever, moving on, they're going to just keep failing. They're going to take a lot longer to heal and to grow, and the successes will be smaller, and they are going to hit many more obstacles along the way because they do not take this lesson seriously. I was one of those people. I am speaking from experience, and I've seen it with every single person that hasn't done this part of the work or hasn't taken it as seriously as the other. My plea to you is to not be one of those people. If you just have to take my word for it, great. Put it into practice yourself. The consequences of not taking this lesson seriously and not putting it into practice are actually really big. They will totally stunt your work that you're doing in self-mastery and they can lead to health problems and mental, emotional, spiritual issues. Like, I can't iterate this enough that this is as important as everything else we're doing, maybe even more important than some of the things that we're doing. We get in this mindset in our culture about doing and goals and progress and the grind and achieving and working hard and being productive. And like, we're obsessed with that in this culture uh, to a really unhealthy degree. Now, of course we know there's a place for that. We do hard work in here. As a person in the Illumatorium, you're doing work every week. You're doing your lessons, maybe your assignments, maybe we're doing one-on-one -on -one work. You're on the path of self-mastery. That's not an easy path. You know that by now. And you've been doing work outside of here as well. So yeah, hard work and focus and determination are important. Yes, absolutely. I'll never say they aren't. And just as important, just as important. I'm going to keep saying this because so many of you aren't going to listen to me and you're going to totally shoot yourself in the foot. Just as important as that hard work is play and fun. That is something that most of us were taught comes as like a treat or a reward after the hard work. Like if you work hard, you know, then you can relax, then you can enjoy yourself, you know, working hard for the weekend and power through the week so you can relax on the weekend. I'm telling you, it is a formula for failure. Fun and play are just as important in this process. Now, we're going to talk about a few different things with regard to fun and play, because it's, it, it, it's not just uh, this elusive idea, right? And it shifts and grows just like every other part of us. So we're going we're gonna to talk about it. We're going to do a little lesson on fun and play. Uh, and if you think it's nuts that we're doing a lesson on fun and play, you know, just go with me and maybe you'll learn some new things with regard to that. So we're going to look at different areas of fun and play. The first one is intentional fun and play. A lot of us have just kind of gone along with the prescribed idea of what fun looks like, even if it doesn't really fill the need for us. And please understand, as humans, we have a need for play and for fun. We watch it in the animal kingdom and every other species. Play is a super important part of the like, <laughs> quality of life, but also the healing process. It's a way of physically releasing trauma in animal bodies where, you know, they get chased by a lion and when the danger's over, they jump and twirl and dance and play as a way to move energy through the body. We see it everywhere else and it's just as important for humans on different levels as well. So we're talking intentional fun, intentional play. I want you this week to look at the activities that you actually feel are fun for you. There are things that maybe we do because we've been told this is what fun looks like. I want you to really examine those 
and see if they are fun for you. Are they filling that need that you have for fun? If they're not, maybe we invest a little less time in those and you get to start exploring what's fun for you. This is one of my favorite parts of the self-mastery path is actually finding what is fun and then intentionally engaging with it. Now, we're going to talk about that on a couple different levels because there's stuff that's fun for you, the adult, as you are today now, and having those, those activities or elements of fun be nourishing to you as the adult is very important. We also know that we carry the past versions of ourselves with us as well. And we have that inner child still existing within us. And you can be like, I don't believe in that. It's still there. So um, <laughs> just give it a try. Uh, I want you to also look at and examine what's fun for your inner child. You might look back at what was fun for you back in the day. What games did you enjoy? What toys did you enjoy? Uh, what, uh, what playful mischief did you get into? Check in with your inner child. What is fun for him or her? Because if they're not having fun, then it's going to come out in some attempt at getting that need met in an indirect way. And we do that too. Even our adult selves, if we're not having fun and playing and relaxing and resting, then that comes out in all of these indirect ways. Because it actually is a need. It's appropriate need that then we try to meet in inappropriate ways. And we start feeling entitled or we deserve things or you know we have some resentment because it's all work all the time. Well, yeah, it's not supposed to be, right? It makes sense that that would come up and that inner child will bring up senses of entitlement as well if it's not getting that need met. So we wanna look at what's fun for you as an adult and we wanna look at what's fun for you as a child. Those are things that your assignment this week is to intentionally figure out what those are and engage in them. Now, the different levels with regard to engaging in fun. I want you to set time aside for fun, just like you set time aside for this lesson, like you set time aside for work, for your spiritual connection, for your physical health, for your relationships, uh, for your creative outlet, all of those things. Fun needs to be put on the calendar. It is an investment in yourself, just like all of the other work is. So I want you to actually set specific time aside for fun. We're not talking about, well, when I get all my work done, I'll try to fit some fun in. No, fun is just as important as the work. Schedule it, put it on your calendar, have something to look forward to. Every week, something fun. Every week that you are intentionally setting time aside for. So maybe that's something bigger. That's uh, for me, that would be like doing a day hike with my dogs. That's one of my most favorite areas of fun. Maybe it's scheduling a game night with your friends or your family. Uh, maybe it's a date night with your spouse and y'all go out dancing or, you know, whatever it might be. And that's fun for you. Explore what that is, schedule it. So we're talking about intentionally setting time aside for fun. Now, I also want you to have fun every single day. It doesn't have to be as big as that where you're, you know, putting time aside for it, but have fun in your day every day, whatever that means to you. Maybe it's reading a, a chapter from a book that you really love. I love like Harry Potter and things that are fantastical and magical. I really like that stuff. So that would be like fun reading for me. Maybe it's learning. Learning's fun for me. I love to learn. And so that might be something I do just spend a little bit of time with each day doing dancing for me is another one. And if you've done the lesson on sexual sobriety, you already have a really nice list of things that are energizing and life-giving for you. So those things might be elements that you can fit into your day. So I want you intentionally setting time aside every week for kind of that big fun. I want you to have fun every day, even in smaller increments. And I want you to find a way to just incorporate fun into your daily activities. So I want you to be exploring, how can I make sweeping more fun? How can I make making dinner more fun? Uh, I'm about to have a conversation with someone. How could this be more fun? I want you to find the fun in your daily activities. Maybe it's putting on music you really like. Maybe you do dinner and you have an accent of the country that you're from, you know, making the meal from. 
be silly, be goofy, whatever is fun for you. And <laughs> it might be a little uncomfortable at first, but if you can find a way to make your daily activities fun and you are intentionally having fun every day and you're setting time aside to invest in fun every week, you are going to have more energy you are going to have better health. You're going to stay out of the chronic stress response. Your relationships are going to be better. You're going to be happier. Your growth is going to happen faster. Your healing is going to happen faster because you're actually making a safe space for your brain to bring up all of this stuff. So you're going to have it happen faster. You're not going to be having needs met in inappropriate ways or attempting to have them met. Entitlement's going to go down. Resentment's going to go down. Your inner child is going to be more fulfilled. And your life's just going to be more fun. <laughs> You're not going to burn out either. We burn out because we're too invested in only one area, usually our hard work and that grind, right? So you're going to skip the burnout, which also means you're not going to have the recovery time it takes after burning out, which means you can do this consistently. And as we know, change happens with incremental efforts over time done consistently. So if you're not burning out, you're not having to stop down because of these, this very important need not being met and your energy being drained and not replenished, you're going to be able to do your work and be productive and do your growth and do your exploration and invest in your relationships and all of that more consistently, which means you're going to have more success. So I really, I can't stress this enough. Fun is just as important as hard work. Play and work have to go together. They got to be buddies regularly. I'm not talking about the vacation that you set every year and you go on that one vacation or, you know, over the holiday, we'll have fun and the rest is just hard work. No, sir, no, ma'am. Every day, every week in your daily activities. So we're looking at what is fun for you now at this stage of your life and not just assuming what's fun, but really find out what's fun for you, explore, play with it, experiment, do different things and check in with yourself. Is this actually fun for me? Is this actually meeting the need of play and fun and rest and release? We are looking at what is fun for your inner child. You can explore back in time. What was fun for you then? You can have a conversation with your inner child. What do you want to do today? What would be fun for you? Do different things and see how he or she feels or they feel, see how you feel. We are intentionally setting time aside every week for what we'll call big fun or planned fun. We are bringing fun into our day every day. We are making time for fun every day, even if it's small. And we are finding ways to make our daily activities more fun. That is your assignment this week is to go explore those areas. That is your assignment for life, to have fun every day, every week, as often as possible, because it is just as important as the work. So seriously, go out there and have fun. <laughs>